bro, I can't take this shit serious, bro. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. Like, I, like, I, trust me, coronavirus is a very serious thing that people should really be careful for and all that. But, bro, like, bro, I'm 27. You know, like, I'm, I, I'm going to live my motherfucking life. I'm, I'm going to live my fucking life. What's he talking about? I saw, I saw what he was talking about. I saw. So I actually saw because Train commented on it a bunch of question marks, which is usually what Train just comments on pretty much anything in his life. Uh, it was Dean at a party. And I know firsthand that this shit's been going on like crazy chat. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably know friends that went out last night for parties and shit, and they had no care for COVID. Um, and, um, bro, it's a, it's a 0.001% death rate under, or 0.1% death rate under 30 years old. You realize that that's not the problem with this, right? The problem isn't that we get COVID. While it is an issue, the problem is you're going to give it to your family in, who are older. Like, the, the scariest thing that I can ever imagine is a, uh, this is a reality for probably someone out there, is that someone had corona, hung out with their older elder family members, gave it to them, and then they died. Would you ever be able to live with yourself? That's what's scary. It's not you getting COVID, because I know what you're going to say. Hey, I don't care if I get COVID. You know? Whatever, I'll just sleep it off. I'll be sick for two weeks. What's the worst that can happen? No, it's your family gets it. And then they die, and for the rest of your life, you're saying to yourself, fuck, my, my, my grandma's dead, and it's my fault. Because that's what happened to my grandma. It's not my fault, but someone at a hospital gave my grandma COVID when she was already sick in bed, and she died because of COVID. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, Ms. Kiff, you're a hypocritical bitch. You always have people over. But that's just not true. I do have people over, but they are 100% quarantining themselves. And also, they come over only to this house. The only one that wasn't like that, that we weren't sure of, was Mitch. And then that's because he hangs out with Barry. That's the only person that we have over that we're not sure who they hang out with, if they quarantine or not. That's it. I do make sure that people, like, like, um, what's her name came over and I was like, yeah, you, you better have quarantined. And she did. She took the test before she came in the house. Um... Soda Poppins' house has been quarantining like crazy. They have. K-Bubbles has not been over my house in hopefully ever, man. Okay? For Connor, for Connor only hangs out at his house. Um. So, yeah. Poke? I haven't seen Poke in six months. So, yeah, that, 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 that's, that's my philosophy on it. It's... That's what's scary to me. It's it's COVID is scary, and yeah, you could say, oh, like la di da da. It's not scary for me because I'm young, right? But it's scary because what if you don't even know you have it? Because some of the symptoms don't pop up for two weeks. You hug and kiss your mom. You eat some spaghetti and meatballs there. The next thing you know, she's sick in bed and she's dying, and it's your fault. Like, what happens if I hang out with Train one day? I mean, the dude's old as nuts. He's gonna fall asleep and die. Oh,